Rut Row, Trouble in Snap Paradise. Could be challenging times. So come on in. Welcome to the replay. As always, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Joel Com here, live from my offices in Denver. And uh, good to see you guys as you come on in and join the fun. I'm going to tell you today why Snapchat is in trouble. And uh, hello, Aram. Hello, Phoenix. Hi, Nicole. How are you? Hi, Robert. Welcome to ELP Last America, or is it EL Plast America? Hi, Carol. Nice to see you. Hi, John. Hello, Aaron. Hello, friends. Uh, you guys that are coming in, you know what to do. Please do share this broadcast. Coming to you live from Denver on Periscope, using Periscope Producer, and uh, on the Twitters as well. Those of you watching on Twitter, if you'll click the video, it will open up. Open up to me. Open up to a whole new world. Um, hey, Grant, how you doing? Nice to see you. Nutra Savant, hello. Let's give shout outs here as you guys are coming in. New York City, George, or is it Jorge? Truck T, good to see you. Thanks, I'm glad you like the graphics. Um, hello, keep calm peeps. Nice to see you as well. I'm gonna, we're gonna do some screen sharing. And uh, today I'm gonna show you guys why Snapchat is in trouble. And I'm gonna wait a moment longer here before we start. Yes, we do good stuff. Uh, hello, Chicago. Hello, Lindy. How are you? Tell me where else you're watching from as you are sharing. And if you're here for the first time, then uh, then please do follow. You like my background? We got my Pumoji. We got my smiley. We got my uh, subscribe button. We got do good stuff. Hello, Edinburgh. Would like to go sometime. Volume is low. How's that? Is that a little better? I just kicked it up a notch. Let me know if that's better for you. Hello, Raleigh. Yes. Better. Good. Hi, Becky. Nice to see you. Hi, Chris. Uh, Tonino, nice to see you. BN Lover, welcome. Hello, OJs in Myrtle Beach. Hello, Julie in Tejas. I lived in Dallas for many years. And uh, all right, we're going to get this party started. And I'm going to, when I, when I edit this video, I'm going to chop off this part right here. So if it sounds like I'm greeting you all over again, <laughs> it's because I am. Here we go. Snapchat is in trouble, and I'm going to tell you why. Joel Com here in Denver, Colorado, in my home office. And I got to say, when I first heard about Snapchat a couple of years ago, I wasn't a huge fan because I had heard that Snapchat was for kids and, well, perverts. Turns out when Snapchat added stories, the kids didn't go away, and I suppose some of the perverts didn't either, but Snapchat uh, stories opened up whole new avenues for us to create and share content. It took two of my friends, Brian Fanzo at iSocialFans and Ted Rubin, to finally encourage me to use Snapchat. And so in November of 2015, I jumped in. I said, okay, I'll give it a try. You know what happened next? I fell in love. I did. I loved Snapchat. There was just something about it that brought out the creator in me. The tools that Snapchat provided with stills, with video, with um, the ability to art up your snaps with, by drawing on them, by adding emojis, and of course later bitmojis, um, by uh, using lenses and filters. It really brought out uh, the part of me that was like a little kid being handed his father's movie camera and told, go, create. And some of you will remember, uh, for example, when I started doing stories and I was doing them on a regular basis and, and I was creating short films, many of them which, well, some of them which I've saved to my YouTube channel and many of them which are gone uh, forever. I think I've got them saved on my uh, phone or somewhere in the cloud. But something happened along the way. And what I want to share with you are some of the reasons that I am no longer bullish on Snapchat, 
okay? And this doesn't mean that Snapchat is going to go away. I think a combination of the reasons I'm going to share with you and some of the predictions are what's going to happen are the reasons that uh, that I think Snapchat is in trouble in spite of an IPO that is overhyped and undoubtedly going to make the founders of Snapchat a lot of money. So the first problem is that Snapchat is the most spam encouraging network that is out there. I'm not saying Twitter doesn't encourage spam. Our DM boxes get littered with stuff. I'm not saying LinkedIn doesn't encourage spam. It does. But Snapchat, if you're not friends with somebody and if you have your settings, um, let's see, let's go to my settings right here and we're going to go to manage preferences. If you change your, um, what is this, is this permissions here? No, hang on. It's the who can contact me. Uh, here we go. If you change the who can contact me to everyone, then be prepared for all kinds of snap spam. It's horrible, especially when you get a bunch of people following you. Um, the amount of spam that I was getting on Snapchat before I changed my setting back to my friends was redonkulous. And this is the type of spam I'm talking about. When people don't know the difference between a public story and a private snap, if you're going to share the food that you're eating, unless you want to share it specifically with me or a couple of others because we're tight and I want to know what you're eating, that's for your public story. It's not for a private snap. If you are trying to game the system, because you want to get an increased snap score. Look at my snap score. It is 21,280. And you know what that means? It means absolutely nothing. Snap score is irrelevant. It's an irrelevant metric that uh, merely means how many snaps you've sent and been, and been sent to you. It doesn't mean anything, but people will snap and want you to snap back just to increase their incredibly irrelevant snap score. Or you might get snap spam that says streaks. Well, what are streaks? Streaks are days in a row that you and somebody else snap back and forth. Now, that's all well and good if I'm getting a streak with a friend, somebody I know, and we're actually playing the game. But what's the point of spamming me to streak with you when I don't even know who you are? Odds are, not going to go streaking with you. Or how about this one? You want to tell everybody on your Snapchat list, everybody you can possibly connect with, that you have a Snap story. Well, no kidding. If you have a Snap story, I can go and look at it. You don't need to snap me privately to tell me unless it concerns me. I know where to find you. You're going to be right here under stories. Look at all the stories right there. All I got to do is go through them and I can click on a story and find them. By the way, all the people with hearts in front of their names, I don't love them all. I don't know them all, but they're people that ask to be notified personally when I have something that I want to point out. So it's permission to snap privately. So snap spam is a major problem and uh, in one of the, one of the issues that I have with Snapchat. Another issue I have is that you cannot link to a website with Snapchat. There's nowhere in my Snap that I can link out to a site. Uh, so that's problematic and I think they've got to change that if they really want to bring in the sponsors. Um, another problem that I have with Snapchat is I like the spectacles. I do. I think it's a cool piece of technology, but let's just face it. They look stupid. Mm-hmm. They just do. Now, they do look a little cooler if you have the native lenses in them, which are the sunglass lenses. But if you're wearing the sunglass lenses, you can't use them indoors. So I had prescription lenses put in so that I could use them indoors. They will also shade, um, they'll tint if I go outside. But what's the problem with that? Well, the problem with that is that inside they look super dorky. Uh, now, Snapchat is finally releasing the spectacles so that you can go to spectacles.com and order them. And I think that there still is hope for them if, if Snapchat implements live. They have to go live soon. The competition between Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter is all about eyeballs per minute. 
and how many people they can get watching for the longest period of time. So they have to go live and the next iteration of Spectacle should allow you to go live to the world hands-free. I think that's gonna be a real plus for Snapchat, but as of now, it's just a cool piece of tech that looks really dorky. Now here is one of the biggest reasons that I'm not snapping is like I used to. It is the crushing, crushing pressure to create content. Now look, there's some people out there, Shauna Yala, for example, Ginny Can Breathe. Snapchat is their jam. That's where they create their content and they do a great job of it. They have owned the platform and they get a lot of views on it. It was a lot of work for me to build up to about 2,000 views per snap and then Snapchat ended the autoplay and I just felt the pressure to create content when there's so many other things that I want to be doing. I realized that I will never be a Snapchat star. I won't. Never going to be a Snapchat star. And uh, by focusing on other things, it made me, I lost interest in creating content for Snapchat. So the, the, the crush of pressure to create content is huge, especially if you have other things to do. If Snapchat was all I did, I'd be creating interesting content all the time, but I have other things um, going on as well, which leads me to the biggest problem that Snapchat has, and that is competition. And not just any competition, competition from the big dogs, woof, woof. For example, we now have Instagram and Instagram stories, which I've noticed when I scroll across the top here that more of my friends that I'm connected to on Instagram are showing up on Instagram stories than on Snapchat. People that I know are leaving Snapchat. So there's a lot of stories there. And of course, it's very easy for me to add to my story, let's go ahead and, and do it right now. I'm on Periscope right now talking about why Snapchat is in trouble. Go, you can go check it out at twitter.com forward slash joelcom. Find it, I know you can, I believe in you. So I'm on Periscope right, right now to my story. talking about Boom. why Snapchat added to the story. Simple, and Instagram's numbers are taking off real fast. Now, who owns Instagram? That's right, Facebook. Instagram has 600 million users and stories is taking off fast. This is problematic for Snapchat. Remember, Snapchat started with a very young audience and it's going to be able to keep that audience, but for how long? Those kids are going to grow up. Will they outgrow it and move to Insta? Well, what else is a problem for Snapchat? How about this little app called WhatsApp? How little? Well, 1.2 billion people around the world use WhatsApp as a primary communication device. And as of recently, they now have WhatsApp status. And this is the first time I've used it, right here. This is the first time I've ever used status. I don't know what to expect. I'm gonna tap my status. It looks like I can pull pictures in. It looks like I can reverse the camera and uh, hold for a video, tap for photo. This is my first time using WhatsApp status. Looks a lot like Instagram stories and Snapchat. Hmm, what do you think? Okay, so I've got that in there. And what can I do with it? Uh, I'm assuming I can play it. Yes, I can. Why is it not playing? Did I break it? I think I might have broken WhatsApp. I broke WhatsApp. Let's try it again. Cancel that one. I am using WhatsApp status for the first time. So WhatsApp, yo. Looks like Instagram stories and Snapchat. All right, maybe it's got to upload it. So what can I do here? Well, I can do an emoji. Okay, so there's nothing new there. Let's put the emoji right there. I can write text. First time on what's app 
status. And let's uh, let's see. We'll save that. Let's move it right down here, like that. And looks like I can do. I can crop. I can write on it. I can do a squiggle. I think I need a squiggle right here, like that. And now I'm going to. And I can add a caption. I'm not going. To, I'm just going to save it. Um, and I'm going to send it to my contacts. It's preparing and sending it and uh, there it goes so now 1.2 billion people have access to snapchat like functionality through whatsapp status who owns whatsapp anybody know show of hands anyone bueller bueller facebook owns whatsapp remember snapchat has about 160 million users whatsapp 1.2 billion Instagram, 600 million. And how many people are on Facebook? 1.9 billion. Facebook has this little app called Messenger. That over a billion, I think it's 1.2 billion are on. And if we opened up Messenger, come on, Messenger, open. Down at the bottom, I can tap. And now I can create snaps in Messenger with these cool little filters oh look there's it's mardi gras very snapchatty snapchatish okay how do i turn them off off so look at all those uh what else we got here we got pictures and wait go back we have a palette so i can do colors and i can change the colors on that palette i can do emojis or stickers, I can write stuff. And right now, oh, well, it's pancake day. Do you know that? Holy cow, it's pancake day! I like pancakes. Holy cow, it's pancake day! I like pancakes. And I can send that to somebody. Okay. Cow, it's. All right, shut up, Joel. Shut up. Discard changes. I don't know who to send that to. So that brings us full circle. And here's what can happen. Right now, Facebook Messenger lets you send these um, embellished private snaps. We're calling them all snaps. Just like we call all tissues Kleenex or, or puffs, we're calling all snap-like things snaps. Right now, in Facebook Messenger, you can send those snaps to individuals or groups. But here's what's going to happen. Pretty soon, you will be able to add your Facebook Messenger snaps to a story. And you'll be able to make that story public to your Facebook feed. They haven't announced this. It's coming. It has to. Now, why in the world would we use Snapchat? There's only one good reason. Because Facebook also has uh, face filters through Masquerade. There's only one good reason. And that is geo filters. The ability to geo-target people with your filter at a, at a place and time that they will use. So tell me that Mark Zuckerberg isn't aware of that and that Facebook isn't looking at how they can sell geo-filters inside Instagram stories, inside WhatsApp, inside Facebook Messenger. It's coming. It's going to happen. I think for all the reasons that I've shared with you, Snapchat is in trouble. I think they're going to have a huge war chest to work with, but they're going to need to use it for acquisition in a big way. Because if the 1.2 billion people that are on WhatsApp, the 600 million people that are on Instagram, and the 1.2 billion people that are on Messenger, a lot of overlap in there, are getting to reach their audience and connect with people that they know, like, and trust already, why would they go to Snapchat? to do it. There's no compelling reason apart from geolocation. And so I think that Facebook is smart. Mark Zuckerberg wants to take over the world. If we jump ahead 10 years, they own just about everything. And there's other players that are doing okay. But Facebook is clearly the winner in the social media wars. Um, this is why I think Snapchat is in trouble. All of the reasons I shared with you, which I will recap, are reasons that I am not snapping like I used to. Nowhere used to where I was snapping like I used to. I'm so sorry, Snappy. Aww. He's so sad now. Here are the reasons. One, way too much 
spam on Snapchat. People don't know how to use the platform. They don't know the difference between public and private, and they don't know how to not message people that they don't even know because they want to game the system. Number two, you can't link on Snapchat. I'm sorry, we want there to be links. No, there's no links yet. Why are there no links? Three, this is a cool piece of tech, but I just look like a freaking idiot with them on. I do. Everybody looks funny at me. They looked funny at me before. Now they really look funny at me. Number four, the, um, the pressure to create content is crushing. It's so hard to do because you, if you're going to grow your Snapchat following, you always got to be on. People are moving to Instagram stories. Now we have WhatsApp status, which is basically the same concept. And pretty soon, Messenger will have stories as well. You might have heard it here first. You might have heard it here second. You might have thought of it yourself. But it's going to happen. And it's why I think Snapchat is in trouble. If you enjoyed watching today, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yep, right. It's like there or something. See the subscribe pillow? It's calling you. It's telling you, subscribeify. Do it. And now, questions from the audience. Um, now I'm going to pay attention to you guys. No, I'm not a Facebook employee. I don't work for anybody. I don't work for anybody. I work for me and me alone. Facebook, mainstream media of internet. People know how to manipulate. Untrustworthy. Hey, Alex Pettit. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, my friend. You don't know what Snapchat looks like? Well, I mean, it can't hurt to uh, to check it out. Download the app. It's a fun app. I like Snapchat. I'm just, I can't do it. I, can't, I cannot do it. Would you invest in Snapchat? Um, I would not. Not right now. Yeah, listen, I'm not an investor and, and um, uh, I don't know. Uh, Alex says the same thing. Spot on with my Snapchat points. He's dropped off for the same reason. Do I think Facebook will make geofilters soon? I don't know about soon. Uh, but we'll see. I do not work for Twitter. I don't work for anybody. I work for myself. Yes, OJs, my t-shirts, the do good stuff shirts are officially on Amazon. You can go to amazon.com. Let me just do a search here and see if they come up. Um, in fact, somebody, uh, they've, we've already sold some uh, do good stuff. Uh, let's see. The journal comes up first. I think you might have to click to clothing. Yes. If you go to the clothing category and type do good stuff, you will see um, the do good stuff shirt there. Uh, $5 off right now, $24 prime. So free shipping and the sizes we have in stock on the traditional shirt, 100% cotton is uh, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. So... Um, so there you go. I don't know if, about the legal aspects of Snapchat and if they copyrighted stories. I don't know if stories is a word you can uh, you can snap. Yeah, I wish I would have bought Facebook. I didn't. I don't do a lot of stock trading. And if I buy it, you can be pretty sure that the price is, is going to go down. So don't, uh, don't, don't follow my stock trades. Yeah, no bueno. What else you guys want to know? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Ask me about Snapchat, Messenger, Stories, WhatsApp. Snapchat should make ad as a request. Snapchat should like teach people and discourage spam. How much do I work? I, I play, Ronnie. Uh, all my work is play. This is work, I suppose, but I'm having fun, so it's play for me. At what age did I feel successful? Um, boy, I've never been asked that question. So I guess it's defining success. Uh, you know what you mean by successful. I, I arrived financially, um, in 1997 on the internet. So I've been at this internet thing for a long time. Yeah, I like Periscope a lot, Brolo. No question about it. Periscope producer is now, uh, you know, available to everybody. What app do I recommend for creating stories for discovery? Um, you know, tough question because you have to build an audience anywhere you are. It takes time. Snapchat's really difficult to be discovered. But if you like it and you work it, then you use the other social profiles to point people there and, um, and you know, promote your stuff. But all of them take time. Periscope is a great live streaming app. 
I also like Facebook Live. I don't do Instagram Live, really, because I don't like that it disappears. I'm not a fan of that. I think I want to be given the option to save my live Instagrams. Who's in my corner down there? I can see faces of some of you guys that I know. Those Carol, and uh, there's Nicole, yay and nay. When will YouTube or Facebook have blab-like features? Uh, you know, I don't know. Right now, I'm using BeLive dot tv to do my two-person broadcasts on facebook i do a show weekly in fact tomorrow night um uh, tomorrow afternoon i've got a show mario armstrong from the today show will be joining me on the be live channel at uh three o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow wednesday march 1st and we'll be talking about his upcoming live show never settle so if you want to see me interview Mario Armstrong on Facebook Live, go to Be Live TV app, like their page, and you'll see that it's coming up there uh, tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun talking to Mario Armstrong. You may have seen him on the Today Show or other networks being a tech geek. Any tips for beginners? Go join the excuse me, Live Video Marketing Mastermind group on Facebook and it's where you're going to get a lot of great tips. The short URL to get there is com.us forward slash live video group. Put that in your browser, com.us forward slash live video group. That'll take you to the Live Video Marketing Mastermind. You can ask to be um, added there. We're approaching 7,000 members. Thank you, Dog Bath. That is it. Um, perfect. Uh, Brat Blab was great. We need a Blab replacement. A Blab placement. OJ's, you just ordered a Do Good Stuff shirt? Thank you. Uh, enjoy the shirt. They're very comfortable. Take a picture of yourself in it and, uh, and send it to me on Facebook or tweet me with it or snap it to me so I can add you to the, the customer um, uh, portfolio. And please uh, review. Uh, Amazon reviews are really important. So thanks for ordering. If anybody else wants a Do Good Stuff shirt, they are now available for Prime shopping on Amazon. Uh, go to the clothing department and type Do Good Stuff and the shirt will come up first. And uh, it will make your life so much happier. Is the mayor of Blab still around? Uh, yeah, Cliff Bodenweiser is around. Will, I think I saw a question about, um, what was that, what was, there was a great question right there and, and I, I saw it. Um, I never, Susie, I did not see your Instagram post. Can you please message me your picture um, on Facebook, just look up Joel Com on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash Joel Com and, and message it to me so I have that. Oh, Snapchat live streaming? Yeah, it's got to come. It has to. I've been saying this since last June, June 2016. Snapchat has to go live. Look, Listen, look how long we've been on here. You know, I've been on this broadcast now for how many minutes does it show? It doesn't show because we're still live, but I'm guessing close to a half hour or so. Um, Susie, email it to me. Just send it to joelcom at gmail.com. Okay, easy. That's my uh, email you can send it to. Snapchat has to go live, and their key to, win it, to, to moving ahead in live is making it so I can go live through these spectacles. That's it. I want to go live in here. Now, if you don't think that Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> is planning hardware of his own in wearables, you got another thing coming. I guarantee Facebook is working on hardware that people will be able to wear, um, hardware wearables that you'll be able to wear into the real world. It's, it's going to happen. So um, watch for that as well. Anyhow, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, broadcast today of my reasons why I think Snapchat is in trouble, why I'm not snapping much anymore. Please be sure to follow and um, uh, both on Twitter and here on Periscope and watch tomorrow on Facebook um, on, my on the Be Live TV app channel at 3 o'clock Eastern, noon Pacific. I will be with uh, Mario uh, Armstrong from NBC's Today Show will be talking about his ambitious upcoming live show, Never Settle. It's going to be awesome and super good fun. So 
I'm going to go. I've got some things I need to cover. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. As always, do good stuff. See ya.